everybody. It's Dick and Rowan, and we are back with part two of our How to Learn to Juggle Three Balls series, featuring clementines, which are getting older in our home. Part two video is going to be three ball juggling tricks, because hopefully you were with us last time and you learned how to start with one ball, add that second ball, pop, 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 and then you've been practicing and you can now juggle three balls. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. All right, so the first trick we want to teach you, once you're stable, once you're a stable juggler, is um, how to throw one ball high and catch it. Woo! Like that. Woo! So you see there's a little pause down at the bottom, and then you're right back into your pattern. You got a trick for our friends, Ron? All right. So second trick, you want to work on, on spreading out your pattern, changing the shape of it, get, it, which will make you a lot more comfortable doing, doing everything, honestly. So you want to work on all your throws becoming really high, all your throws going really far apart, bring your hands really far apart, or really close together. And doing those kind of things is just very helpful for getting more comfortable in your pattern. Nice. Nice. Now, once you've like, worked on wide and high and small and all this, the next good trick is something that's called columns. And in this, your balls aren't crossing at all. They're just going up and down in straight lines. And basically, to learn this, you want to do two in one hand, and then you add one in the other. Woo! Now, you could do something to switch it up a little bit. You could do columns in one hand, your right hand staying exactly the same, but you could do a little magic trick. Track onto one of the balls, like a magnet. Just gives a nice illusion. Very nice. Another variation on the columns <laughs> is uh, what I call the menorah. Where you go up and down two sides with the one going up in the middle, and we all drop, because juggling is dropping. You can throw in a little bit of a little bit of flair, some some like uh, some body rolls, some body pops off your knee. You could go like, Woo. Woo. it's all about aiming for the center of your knee. Because if you go on the side, it's gonna go off in one direction. But if you get it right in the middle of your knee, it should bounce right up back to you. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do um, another variation on the body thing is to roll it off your head. To roll one off your head. Woo! Actually, you can keep doing that like that. That might take a little while. You have to have the right shaped head. Anything else? One trick you can do is you can throw one ball into your leg. <laughs> you can go like this. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And depending on what kind of, you know, how long your arms are and things, you can also do a behind the back. Oh yeah. All right, so let's do a couple of tricks to end up, okay? Freestyle tricks. And we'd like to thank Artemis, our videographer today. And that's part two, juggling tricks with three balls. See you next week.